Can you see the snow poles on the side of the road? Now we're in the north. This our sign says if the lights are flashing, the road is closed. You can see the snow poles on the left, on the right hand side, to identify the road markings. Heading further north, woohoo! We are arriving in Dufftown, the malt whiskey capital, home of Duffman, Duff Beer. You're not home, is it? Now we're at the home of Walker's Shortbread. Oh, they've got a factory shop. Apple Hour. Have they? Do we go in? It's closed. Ah, oh, no. You're joking. You can see in the distance, there's lots of whiskey warehouses everywhere. Uh, all for storing the barrels. Is that one? Shivers Brothers? Yeah. Shivers Brothers. Yeah, yeah so over there. there. Was back there, wasn't it? Yeah. So we're about to arrive in Keith. There's the warehouses, you can see them on the other side of that Starfire. Scotland's first Scots tomb, the friendly tomb. Keith, welcome to Keith. Christmas decoration lights. That's a massive distillery, it's still going on over there, like, yeah, like the Shiva's one. Whiskey line. Wow. Impressive Yeah. First stop, bakery. Oh, they're open till two four. Excellent, there we go. Award winning bakery. <laughs> Starving, get something nice. Where are Molly? We are off on a distillery hunt. It's like a bear hunt, but it's got whiskey instead of bears. <laughs> uh, you can't we can go see. around it, you can't go past it, you've got to go through it. Drink it! Over there, if you can see, there's barrels through the trees there. That looks like the distillery. We're just going to try and find it. See if they've got a shop. Dogs aren't generally allowed in distillery tours. We appear to have walked into the middle of the distillery. Um, <laughs> that looks like we are uh, we're actually in it. Let's go this way, come on. It's like Donkey Kong. <laughs> Whiskey barrels. Traditional Cooper. Making the barrels for the whiskey. Hello. Oh God, cake. Can we get back to the same cake shop again because it was so yeah. good? What'd you get? You did. <gasps> you got a super band like the olden days. I know. This I is well good. I'm thinking size. Strawberry tarts and. Oh my goodness. The firm oh, cake. She oh, said wow. it's kind of like a um, cherry bake well. So cool. That'll do for me. Good work. Okay. Molly's hiding. We've had a slight incident. We made an error, didn't we? Oops. Bit of a boo-boo. We left the fridge on. <laughs> Battery power, not gas, or off, which I was going to do before we left. And he's totally flattened the battery on the van. How long have we been gone though? We've going to be gone for an hour. An hour? So ne what? never leave your fridge on and your engine not on. So we left it on 12 volt, not on, uh, obviously with nothing, no power on. The solar panel was actually on van as well, but it's that much drain, it's killed the battery. Oh dear. In an hour, so never leave it. Stranded. Fortunately, we've got a green flag breakdown and they said they're sending out Keith Motor Company, which are around the corner. 
So fingers crossed, they'll be here in a minute. Jump start as we can get on our way. Brilliant. That's the plan. So it's 20 to 2 now. Let's hope we make the campsite before 8. See you later <laughs> in the video. We're back on our way after, after a slight in issue, incident, but in fairness, we were very lucky where we, where we flattened the battery. We left the fridge on, um, on battery, and left the van for an hour, came back, the van was totally dead on the vehicle battery. So, rang Green Flag, they said our local agent is Keith Motor Company, they're around the corner. We said an hour and a half, they were there within 20 minutes, jump started with a pack, done, we're on our way. I mean, so, the man was literally here for like five, two, five minutes, two minutes. No, nah, like took that. him on to park his truck, ready to jump start. Yeah. So we're going to carry on, head to our next destination, which is Banff, and then we're going to go along the coast, head to Culloden. So we're probably not going to stop though now, we're going to carry on, because I'm not sure the van battery will uh, be fully charged for Banff, but we'll see. Basically, we're too scared to switch the engine off now. Yeah, until we get to where we're going. <laughs> so, catch us later, hopefully, at our destination. Uh, we're in Cullen, the home of Cullen Skink. The very famous fish soup that Scotland's renowned for. What a fantastic view. Great little place. Wow. Oh my goodness. So much to see in, take in. Look at that. There as well, look. I think like a viaduct over there and then the... Well, we made it to our destination, well almost, we're just a mile away from our campsite. We are staying at Culloden Moor Caravan Motor Club site. We made it, didn't we? We did. After our battery incident. Anyway, that's all in the past. Everything's been forgotten. Although it was definitely Caroline's fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Uh, yeah, we are. Look at you, I'm weak with hunger. <laughs> I cannot come up with any kind of retort. It's not even our lovely cakes yet. We've got our teeth, so we're just going to check in, set up, and then have a tea and cake uh, in the afternoon. It's just starting to spit uh, with rain as well. Just starting to, uh, first, first rain of our trip. Uh, wow. Okay, we've discovered it wasn't a flat battery, we had a fault. Well, we hope it was a fault. Yeah, we arrived here, filled up with water, and exactly the same thing. The battery was completely dead, the van wouldn't start. And we was, we'd stopped on the motorhome service point, so nobody else arriving <laughs> was able to fill up with water because we couldn't move. Molly's hiding. However, so, it was on the top of a hill. <laughs> Some crazy negotiating and handbraking. You tell you such a ham. Anyway, it's a little bit stressful. We managed to get yeah. the van into a space to then go and try and charge it. But when I plugged the van in, here you can film that if you want. Yeah. <laughs> when I plugged the van in to, to charge it, we were saying there was no battery, so there was clearly a fault. So I took the battery cover off. I don't know if you can see. I just need to put it back together now. Underneath, can you see that? See the negative terminal? You might be able to see it. Yeah, let me just, let me just try and show you what I mean. I'll use the phone. There's the torch is just up there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's here. Okay. So yeah, half unpacked already. There you go. So if you can see under here, this is where the battery's stored. Can you see the far the side, the negative terminal uh, over there, yeah. the other side, that yeah. grey one? Oh, There's yeah. a clip on it and the clip was not closed. Oh. So the battery was not connected. So we simply connected the battery back up and then we're able to move and find an actual pitch we wanted and then realign the van and reprogram the clock and everything. So we're all good. It was no fault, it was just a loose battery connection. So very pleased because that was annoying. So um are you just saying then that it wasn't me running down the fridge? Well we I think it still probably caused a problem, <laughs> I'm but joking. I don't know. You've done an amazing job fixing it. Thanks. That was really well done. That's very kind. That's really you know really well done. You've oh. saved us all kinds of drama. Good. So just well a loose done. battery. Oh well. good, thanks. We're gonna have a beer now because I need one. <laughs> So this is what we had to do. We basically had to freewheel out of this uh, motorhome bay 
but no power steering, no brakes. Well, brakes were working. All of these on the right were full, weren't they? Yeah, and that one there, if you can see, will go around to the left. I had to aim the van round here and basically go forward in against that peg number at number 45. 45, just over there, which I just about managed. And then that's where we were able to connect the van up and uh, charge it, uh, so we thought. But then we realised that the van said it had no battery. So uh, we decided then we had to try and fix it, which is when we found the problem with the battery connection and everything was good. Um, but yeah, we didn't film it. We were too uh, <laughs> we were too excited in the moment and forgot to film it. So uh, excited, yes. yeah. So we finally made it. The setup here's the van. Had boy ready to go in. Barbecue ready. Pop top up. Electric connected. The site's nice. Really nice. There's a massive dog walk over there. The lady said. We'll have a look at that tomorrow, so it goes for miles. And Culloden Battlefield's only a mile and a half, we'll be going tomorrow, and a nice pub nearby. So, cake, We've waited finally. four hours for these. Cup of tea. Better be the best cakes we've ever had. And that's it, we're going to turn off filming tonight. We're going to, <laughs> going to, going to have a barbecue and something to drink. Lots and then we'll, we'll start again to tomorrow. <laughs> it doesn't always go smoothly when you're, uh, when you're away. No. But um, usually it's, it's basic good to learn things. from the odd disasters. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Cool, right. See you tomorrow. So we had a barbecue, but it rained. <laughs> Our luck today. But we've used the canopy for the first time um, in hard standing. We drilled it into the floor with uh, pegs. So we're just having a nice barbecue under the canopy. Molly is enjoying it as well. She came with the canopy too. Excellent. First time we've used it properly. It's the rain. Good morning. Morning. Well, it's almost afternoon. In fact, no, no just still just morning. It's, quite, it's only afternoon when you've had your lunch. We've so. had a lazy day today. We um, got up quite late uh, after yesterday's uh, dramas. Um, we had a good barbecue last night though, and uh, a few beers so that helped us stay in a little bit, bed a little bit longer. Yeah, although I was quite grumpy because there's a little bit of road noise. Yeah, the picture we picked is right next to the road, um, which is great. It's nice and quiet in the campsite, but next to the road, which I guess inside a van. You wouldn't really have an issue, but in the pop top, obviously it's, uh, it's fabric, Tent. then you do have more road noise. So that's the only thing this campsite. It's a lovely site, we'll show you later. We're off to Clodden Moor today to go and see the Battle of Clodden site. Uh, I'm doing Take Your Morning, we've got a walk, we've got GPS, we've got our walking boots on because we're going through fields. Yeah, we thought we'd made a bit of an error because we haven't booked in advance uh, and it was all sold out, but we phoned up and they've said you can just turn up now because capacity's increased. Yeah, so capacity it's increased good to know. in Scotland last week, so we're not restricted anymore. So the website is wrong <laughs> so um yeah we're gonna head off now also the lady at the campsite recommended there's a pub just nearby she said it doesn't look very nice but the food's amazing so we're gonna go in there and try that as well for lunch and then see where we go from there and then we're gonna plan our uh, route for tomorrow when we get back this afternoon because we're going to Alt Nahara tomorrow right up in the Black Isle. Mm. okay excited lots of lists this afternoon yeah lots of lists <laughs> charging everything up because we're also wild camping we've got no Nothing. <laughs> no electricity, nothing. So we'll see how we get on. Cool. See you later. See you later. So we've arrived at the visitor centre, uh, Culloden. It's just a mile and a half walk from the campsite, all on pavement, nice safe walk, no dangerous roads, and there's loads of motorhome parking as well available. So a good place to visit, either walking or with your motorhome. So we're at Culloden, overlooking the battlefield, aren't we? <laughs> You can see the red flags in the distance is where the English troops were and the blue flags in the distance are where the Jacobites were. So we're going to explore now. Welcome to Holiday History with Ian Brown <laughs> and Molly yeah. at Culloden Battlefield. What is this please? So this is Leenock Cottage. This was used as a field hospital by the government troops during the battle. This is the Jacobite enclosure. It's very atmospheric, isn't it? Very. Even lots of people around. Yeah, it's, uh, it's weird, isn't it? It's complete silence. We stopped talking. Or panting. It's weird to think a battle with swords and muskets and stuff was here all those years ago. Molly embracing the history.
So what did you think of Clodden? Very interesting. I like that you can take dogs um, on the battlefield, obviously. Um, that bit's free, you don't have to pay. So if you are just passing, you've not got a lot of time, you can just pop in, have a look around. Um, the cafe, toilets, gift shop, been in the gift shop, of course. Cool. What are we doing now? We're in Clodden. Is it Clodden Moor Inn? This is just from the corner, walkable. Um, the good thing is that the campsite, it was like a mile and a half to Clodden, wasn't it, from the campsite? Yeah, yeah. And this pub, uh, the campsite recommended it. Nice pint of Guinness, Strongbow, and we've ordered some food. So, looking forward to having that. So we're back from Culloden and we've had quite a lazy afternoon, just chilling out, relaxing by the van. We're a bit tired after our big lunch and alcohol, no idea why. So we're just sat now and just going to sample some of the whiskies I bought at Culloden. They had a shop, a cool shop. Um, this one is to Martin, this is from Inverness, Shea, and uh, local to where we are. I'll try that. Didn't have any beers, so I, I said I would try whiskey when I got to Scotland. I like whiskey very much. And this one's Balvini, which is um, from Banff. This is from actually from... Not Bamp, sorry. This one is from Dufftown, where we were yesterday. So this is Duffman's alternative to beer. This is Duff, Duffman's whiskey. <coughs> anyway, so we're going to sample these tonight. Have an early night and we're setting off tomorrow for the next part of our adventure. So we'll see you in the morning. We're just having breakfast before we uh, before we set off. So we're off leaving Culloden today. But just looking out the window, you can see there is our neighbours in their motorhome you'd say normal size and then a Volkswagen over there you can see and then this arrived last night oh my goodness it is absolutely ginormous I don't know if you can see it compared to that that transporter uh, oh my goodness it's absolutely massive it's an ace uh, I think it's based on a Ford I'm not 100% sure Ford commercial vehicle Ford truck but the side comes out it's got a telly as big as our house absolutely ginormous <laughs> uh, a special manoeuvring onto the pitch as well very impressive. Lovely buttered crumpets. This is this is the um, other side. The of site. The campsite, yes. It's the top part. This is far enough away from the road. So the only thing with this site we found where we where we were parked down the bottom is the road noise was quite heavy on the first night. It wasn't so bad last night. Um, but in terms of layout of the site, it's really nice. It's got a lovely um, dog walk, probably one of the best. It just goes through the woods for acres and acres of land. Um, Molly absolutely loved it. Um, lots of people in the in the woods, and it's it's a busy site. You can see this one's obviously very very popular. And you can see uh, how big it is, it sort of it's loops around. The toilet block's right in the middle. Uh, there was no shop on site, um, there's nothing nearby. So you need to bring supplies when you come, or be prepared to uh, you know, go out again and get some more supplies. Um, but yeah, we really, really have to go Yeah, it's it. fine if you, if you don't mind moving, do you? But as we like to walk or Walk everywhere, yeah. Set up and not go move to the... Uh... Yeah. So this is the toilet block on the left hand side, you'll see here, there's another collie coming out, there's about four or five collies on the site. So that's the toilet block on the left and that's uh, also all the chemical waste point and everything else that goes with it. And uh, yeah, so we will leave this site now and we'll go in, actually before we go to our next stop, which is Al Nahara, we're actually going to Fort George, very excited, um, always sitting in sort of TV programmes about it, never visited, so looking forward to that very much. Fun to be. We are, yes. We've pre booked, paid for tickets, and we've also pre ordered a guidebook. You can tell we're excited. <laughs> okay, so it looks like there's a firing range on today. They're flying a red flag. Just hopefully they're not targeting the car park because the van is parked just there. <laughs> really big car park. Plenty of space, no height barriers, there's another motorhome arrived as well, just the same time as us. We've tucked it out the corner, and then the fort is over there. Can't wait. Good morning. Hi, here we are at Fort George. Fort George is? A military base. And it was built? After the Battle of Culloden. Excellent, so we're following our tour. 
Dogs are allowed in, which is very excellent. They're not allowed inside the roofed areas, but they're allowed in the rest of the museum. Yeah, that's good. It's magnificent. And you get a map. We've ordered a guidebook, but you can also download an audio tour. So I'm just using that at the moment. You can play it and it'll tell you where you are and show you around the fort, self guided. Really impressed. So we're going to explore now. Molly on parade. parade. Caroline and Molly on parade. That's the parade ground. Whoa. <laughs> Massive. So, why are you? Wait a minute. We've got the muffler on the wind, but it's still windy blowing. What's what are you excited about here? Looking for dolphins. Dolphins. <laughs> Apparently, you can see dolphins off the point here. We have got a microphone cover on. Hopefully, the wind's not too bad. But we are still on top of the bastion. Oh wow! Look, get on here. There's the van over there. You can see it. So what's that? A mortar. A mortar, that's very good. It's massive, isn't it? Huge. It's a replica, but... Oh, there's a cannonball in it. Ready to fire. Oh, yeah. This is very different to Normandy, but very similar f concept. Big gun on wheels. Rotate round, fire out to sea. Accurate up to 2,000 meters, apparently. Quite remarkable for the time. What an amazing view. Oops, Molly's trying to jump off the edge. <laughs> we better get down from here. Molly! It's a reminder that Fort George is a working military base. Cool selection of company cars. all over it. LED lights. And it's got a uh, oh, for Afghanistan anti explosive device in the bottom. The shape of its hold is to protect it from explosives. Wow that's cool. Camera. I stopped for a coffee. No for Costa. You catch me again eating. What all, a surprise. All are welcome. I want some. It's the coolest Costa I've ever been into. They had like um, everything for sale. And then they had cigarettes. <laughs> and then they also had a Leatherman multi tool. Wow. So yeah, got my brew. Let me carry on. What every chap needs in his life an anti tank garage to store your anti tank <laughs> equipment and vehicles in. Very cool. On the left of it, stables. I like that. I could even get myself an anti-tank garage at home. Fine, when I can have stables, you can have anti-tank <laughs> garage. Deal. You can hear the guns in the back, yeah. can you? There's a live firing range today. Yeah, I'm always twitching. Oh, dolphins viewpoint. Dolphins viewpoint. We're going to see some dolphins. Soldiers have pet cemetery down there. You can see it. It's a pet cemetery. <laughs> <laughs> this footage, footage might be a bit windy, so hopefully it's not too bad. We'll see if we can use it or not. But just to say, we're at Fort George. Shot, <laughs> uh, we've had a really good, uh, really good time here. It's fantastic. You can take dogs around everywhere that's outside, not inside. And it's uh, it's a beautiful day. So yeah, we've had a really nice time, haven't we? Really good. Yeah, really great place to visit. I highly recommend it. Amazing you, views. You can hear in the distance. That's again the uh, the soldiers firing range. They're, it's red flag today. They're firing. So we're not going to try and get shot on the way back. We're heading off now to go to our next destination. After picking up some supplies. Fire Tesco. <laughs> yeah, the wardens advised us this morning before we left. If you go into Altnahara, make sure you stock up because it's a massive tri round trip to get any supplies. So seventy-five gonna... mile round trip to the nearest shop. <laughs> we're going to stock up. Just a point to know if you're coming later, 
Um, it's very busy now, the car park's full. Uh, so you can see the firing range is just behind the van. <laughs> That's so close. I don't think we've got any holes in it. Let's get inside, Mole. Let's get some shelter. 